boy, you are a thief, you are a criminal, you are a fake activist. So shut up. Not a glory. You know if you take glory, we'll be my own. So after young Bob came out to talk about what really happened in the plane, which all of you with some 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 hungry, stupid media collected money from Nigerian bureaus to blackmail me in 2004. That's why I respect the Aousa people. That's why I respect the Aousa people. They are very honest and straightforward. At that time, it was MD Abubakar that was the Inspector General of Police. He called me and he said, Idris, I heard what is happening in the plane. They said you, you kidnapped 50 cents. I said, sir, no, no be waiting happen with that too. I had a deal with this multinational that anything they give 50 cents, they go give me. They had my rider. I signed mine, but they didn't sign their own. So they were looking for trouble, so I was ready for it. So I got on the plane and I sat on the business class. This story is for those children who were one years old when this happened. I know today you guys are about 20 years old. Learn the history. So, 50 Cent and his crew came and they woke up to me and said, yo, you got to get the F out of that plane. I was like, excuse me, we don't speak F in Africa. I don't know what F is all about. My name is Idris Abdul Karim. I sold 4.6 million copies in a pirated country. They could not tell me what to be the secret for America. I they walk. The Nigerian artists go there inside uh, economic class. All of them just shut up. They say, it's today do make me live on 50 cents and he could go to soon charge some like now. This is just listen to this story. This is how typical Nigerians behave. So beware. So they came back and said, yo, we just spoke with the organizer and they, they said, they don't know who the fuck you are. Before I know what's up, all of them don't attack me. And the Nigerian artists, they look me. There were about, about 30 of them on top of one person. So I fight myself out. I jumped the plane. I said, nobody to go anywhere today. The pilot came out, left and ran. I picked up my phone, called Alajis Asari Dokubo. He was on his way to Mecca. I pick up my phone and call Piman President, who happens to be P uh, Charlie Boy at that moment. That, listen what is happening. This is what they are doing to your artist. Charlie Boy came to the airport, met with Chief Odumegu, who was the Nigerian, uh, 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 Nigerian Bureau's MD at that moment, at that time, and sold me out. 70 M. This thief collects. Come tell me, say, Idris, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Because I, mean, I don't want me to come out. I want me to provide that video. I don't want me to 50 cent come out. I want me to provide that video so that the whole world will know what happened. I said, Charlie Boy. How many of you remember the JT? The JT was the one that shot uh, Olamide first video. Any Binu? Yes. The JT recorded everything that happened inside the plane. How I was attacked. And how Nigerian artists were inside playing the watch. And I fought for my right. I fought for the industry. I'm the reason why all these boys are making money. And I'm very glad about it. And I have no regrets. But you can't wake up and try to come and take some glory when it be your own. Just because your bug has finally made a video to tell everybody the truth. Truth that you guys didn't want everybody to know. Shout out to your bug. Thank you for the love. And thank you for telling the world the truth. So Charlie Boy, chuck the fuck. Don't try to come and take glory where you know you where you where you, where you, where you don't do anything. You sold out. You're a bad leader. So don't come here when they try to collect glory where you don't know shit. The day before the play, we were at uh, what's it called TBS at the backstage. They came with po 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 pointy touch lights. On everybody, with Koboko chasing everybody out of the backstage. I stood by my right with my crew, so we're not going anywhere. Everything you, know, you treat us like stars. We're Africans, we're Nigerians. Don't treat us like animals. That was the revolution that gave back to the whiskey, Bonap Boy, and all of them where they make money. And our music, Afrobeat, is all over the world now. And I'm happy I, I fought that revolution with my career. So don't come up and try to come and take some glory that you sold out. You're a thief. Anything when they involve money, you know they do. I'm. You're a criminal. So shut the F up. Shout out to Young Bob. Thank you for saying the truth. So much love, y'all. I'll get back to you, man. I'm doing it. I'm in the studio already. One.